Now you may say that my ideals are barking up the same tree. That to expect these things, these ideals, when people don't naturally move into them is to defy their nature. But have you ever thought that we may have more than one nature? More than one nature to choose from. Again, I'm sorry about this disconnected reading. I'm <laughs> doing my best. We all know about entropy, but have you ever thought about syntropy or, or some some concept uh, opposite to, to entropy? There's a yin and a yang, clearly, in my view. Even if you see the universe as, as an end net wind by entropy, if you see the universe fizzling out in the end, thus you know rendering the, the appearance of syntropy as an anomaly, we're still confined to our present context. So the ultimate end reality really shouldn't affect our decisions as it comes down to the, the wisdom of a kind of Pascal's wager, not, you know, just the same concept. And that is, if we say that syntropy is merely an illusion, we will not gain anything with such a view. We, the, I'm trying to make sure I'm saying this right. That is, if, if we say that syntropy is merely an illusion, we will not gain anything with such a view and will not inherently lose anything by rejecting the choices that might flow from such a fatalistic view. If, if the world, net, you know, if there's a net win by entropy. Whereas if entropy, uh, I'm just going to say this in my own words, if, if entropy, you know, wins the day, we, I'll just leave it at Pascal's way. <laughs> um, kind of thing, you know, if the, if the universe fizzles out, then, and, and, this, and one po key point in this that I wanted to point out was, we don't inherently lose something by acting towards ideals, um, at least not in my mind, I, but uh, I really can't prove it all either way, and you, my, none of us can prove things of this nature either way to each other. Uh, Kind of, but why do we follow the old cliche phrase, even if we don't personally believe in the existence of such beings, uh, and seek the better angels of our nature? Uh, well, why can't we we seek these ideals um, if if it really doesn't? You know, it's, it's not going to. If that entropy wins, and we're all just poof, you know, don't exist anymore. What, what would it have ultimately hurt it to have, have striven for these ideals, even if even if they were to end up to be just illusions? Um, and who's to say that ideals like liberty, justice, and family cannot generally have superior and inferior manifestations and degrees? I mean, there's there's it's clearly. I mean, anybody who looks at, at the universe and the world, there's there's degrees of things. Um, for everything that there's, um, you know, one level there's something above it and there's something below it. And I, I would think, you know, we wouldn't want to just cling to this thing, oh, everything's equal, because I mean, just the whole, I mean, even evolution demonstrates that. I mean, it's, it's certainly relative to environment, but I think there, there can be I ideals. Um, in this context, even. Uh, I'm going to bring up one other, uh, or there's some other stories, but this, this the Prophet Joseph Smith once put forward a possible solution to slavery that even today seems far fetched to many, and seem, probably seemed really far fetched at the time. He advocated the government using the sales of public lands to purchase the freedom of the slaves. Thus, he would have avoided, uh, he would have achieved abolition while well, compensating those who felt the need to be compensated for their, the alteration of, of their life as they knew it. And you'd also have freed a whole people and in, in many senses unified the whole nation and, and have kept a rift from, it, from really ever forming. And many, many can justifiably look at that now and consider it as something far-fetched uh, because there's, there's really no proof that any such thing would have worked. I would ask you, but looking at the cost to the nation, 
looking at the fact that we lost more Americans in that war than in all other conflicts, if you look at the cost and the devastation, wasn't a try at a seemingly harebrained idea at least worth it? Can anyone who studied the Civil War say that it was a genuinely good thing either for this nation or for mere humanity?